You are listening to the Built to Grow podcast, delivering the knowledge in all things fitness business. We help gym owners win. Here are your hosts, Tim Lyons and Randy Angston. All right, welcome back to the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons, and in studio, the demagogue of drive, Ooh. Randy Angston. What's up, buddy? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing good. We got a little rain. I know. I actually really enjoy the weather this week. Did you get flooded out up there? Dude, it's horrible. But I mean, literally like running rivers through my yard. Uh, I have a video. I posted a video of Did my you? drive like just around my house. It's it's insane. You guys got to work on that drainage plan up there. Get some civil engineers. Well, they want to they want to pave the road. So yeah. we're. So Randy <laughs> lives up in the uh, desert. The here, boonies. The yeah. High desert with just dirt roads. Which it's is called kind of de- cool. Desert that. Hills. I love the area. Yeah, it's pretty cool, sweet out there. So, uh, big Black Friday sale coming up. We yeah. just finalized it today. Um, you guys should see those hitting your inbox on Thanksgiving night. So if you're li- if you're listening, if you're not on our email list, get on it. How do they get on the email list? Uh, I will put it in the show notes. Show notes. Look at that. Get in. You're gonna want to. We just finished these deals, guys. We're talking massive. I, I don't. I mean. Kind of losing a little bit on some of these, but we're giving it away. We are, yeah. I mean, we're we're in true Black Friday fashion. We're throwing a massive sale. I I know, and and the one thing is, we I was I'm in another group too, at STS. We've talked yeah. about a lot. One of you know one of the gym owners in there was sharing his discounts and stuff, what he was doing, and he posted it, and it was like ten percent off when they pay in full, and I was like, you got to go bigger. I've heard it go bigger. I've heard a lot of the ten percent in personal training packages. It's it's not enough. I mean, I get it. You don't want to give away your services, but let's be honest. People are in that mode of of wanting this amazing deal, and if you're just going to drop ten percent off, like they're probably going to pass it up. Well, if it's a ten percent off on your your maybe your main service, and then you load in a bundle, like I know that we've really pushed. Yeah, uh, that might be something that moves people into action. But you you absolutely better bring some incentive. Yeah. Yeah, and people are ready to buy. So this this is a great time to get past clients back. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, you know, in our Iron Circle, we went over and we did this Black Friday workshop with everybody. And so today was the first day, the first like teaser emails go out. And they're already posting like, mm-hmm. you know, responses. They're getting great. Got another old client interested. We got two two more people coming on board and they're signing up people before Black Friday. Which is awesome. Which fine. Who yeah. Cares? Get them in. Yeah. What does it matter? Doesn't matter. No. So they're they're bringing them in on on different deals and stuff. So whatever whatever it takes. And it's getting bigger. Just, I'm getting a lot of those Black Friday Black Month emails now. So I mean, in the world of retail and and selling, they uh, know they know where the money's being made. If we can, it, how, well, first of all, it's just going to condition that way, right? We know in the next couple of years, it's just going to be an entire month. It's like birthdays. We're like, have you ever? People don't have a birthday anymore. It's a birthday month. Birthday month. Yeah. Birthday month. So yeah, the more. Uh, the more you can be in front of your clients, if you could be, if you could do that and retain that for an entire month, right. I'm sure you can make massive sales. But so, yep. you better be prepared ahead of time to uh, uh, sustain that over an entire month. It, it is that. So yeah, you're absolutely right. The Black Friday, it, what used to be used to be Friday the mm-hmm. after Thanksgiving, then it became Thanksgiving night. Now it's like November first, and it's a whole weekend even for the Black Friday. It's the whole weekend, and then now we have Cyber Monday too. Because People, there's just too much money to be made. So yep, take note. Uh, obviously, the retailers know what they're doing. They've been in business for years and years, and they're running this way. So uh, this this episode is more geared towards the, the holiday promotions that, you know, not, not that Black Friday isn't a holiday. We're talking about Christmas, uh, New Year style, mm-hmm. uh, gift-giving style uh, campaigns. And we've got the probably one of the best ones that we've run here the last couple of years is this holiday letter campaign, which just happens to be one of the campaigns in the Profit GPS. Yeah. So if you're interested in this specific campaign, ProfitGPS.net, pick that up. Yeah, and, and to speak to that point, you know, there's a lot, I don't know if there's a, con- I don't know why I say there's confusion, but for those of you who don't know what's in GPS, it is far beyond, you know, a stack of lead generation campaigns. It is not just a couple low barrier offers. There are strategies here around running holiday parties, around oh, yeah. charity events, around JV partnerships. I mean, all sorts of things that are in marketing and in, um, you know, purposeful. Per, um, the purpose is to drive new business, uh, win back campaigns for past clients. I mean, there's all sorts of places you can go inside the marketing arena found in GPS. It's not just 
a stack of lead generation ads. Yeah. So oh, I know. Yeah, so yeah, g thanks for clearing that up. Yes, it's both internal, external, mm -hmm. online, offline. There's bot marketing, there's we, retention strategies. We basically put in everything that we've ever done and mm -hmm. as well as any of our cl like close clients have done with success. Yep. We don't just throw things in there that aren't successful and then that we put them into one portal. So profitgps.net. Let's get into the holiday letter campaign. So what is it? So every year around Christmas, people have to buy gifts. Yeah. You know, your client, you're buying gifts. Um, your, your, your clients are buying gifts for their family. Why not leverage that in a way to where they can actually gift a membership or a trial or a package to a friend or family member courtesy of you? Why you wouldn't go. you do that? So here's how, here's how it goes. Uh, I learned this actually years and years ago from NFBA, which was uh, Plumber, Thomas Plummer kind of brought this one to the forefront. We've, we've tweaked it a little bit, and then we put it into the GPS. But it's, it's basically a, a, a hand, not a handwritten letter, but a custom letter that you would hand sign as the owner or the fitness director, and you're going to send it out snail mail mm -hmm. to every one of your clients. Now, you can, you can make the letter, and in the, in the letter, we have the template for the entire, we tell you exactly what to write in the GPS, but it would go something like, hey, it's been another great year. We appreciate you as, as a, you know, a client. Um, here's some things that we've brought in over the past year. Here's some things that we're looking to do in the next, next year coming up. Um, we, we, you know, we love and we appreciate you. And then, it, you know, as a courtesy, you know, we want to make you look good to your friends and family. Here's two gift cards for X, right? For six months of training for three months or one month of training. Actually, I would say one month of training because you're giving it to them for free sure. to then turn around and gift to their friends and family as a, as if they went and purchased it. You put an actual value on it. You make it look like a gift certificate. Again, we have the templates yep. all done. If you want this, guys, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, just go to ProfitGPS.net, go to the holiday letter program, and if you get one person, it's paid for the entire year of GPS. Look at that. Uh, so anywho, so it's in there. We give you the templates. We tell you what to write. We and so and then and then there's a couple other th like kind of things that you can do in there. So like Jerry and Casey Washack, they're uh, Iron, Iron mm -hmm. Circle members of yeah. ours, and they um they do like a, a picture right of their team, and they they all sign it. Right? Oh yeah, so I just saw that. Yeah, Gabe so was just mentioning that. So yeah. they all sign it. Uh, you can throw that in there. You can um, you can customize these however you want. If you want to give them a particular gift card, just say thank you. You can do that. And really, what happens is they get it in the mail. They get these nice gift certificates. Then they just go and regift them yeah. to their friends and family. And then their friends and family are like, "Wow, you got us a, a 30 day training membership over at Pulse Fitness. That's amazing. Thank you. Makes them look good." And think about the stress that they're under trying to find gifts for all their mm -hmm. people that they got. So, so this is just, it's a win, win, win. And it's the opportunity for somebody, for you to gift it to somebody that you'd like to continue training with, or you'd like to start training with, right? In, in our group training settings, mm -hmm. it's train with a partner, you know, go gift that to your best friend that you want to be in the gym with every day, you know, get them in the gym. Yep. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a great strategy. Yeah, it makes sense. And, and we've done it year after year, and we're going to do it again this year. Uh, we, we put it in a metallic envelope, oversized, kind of nice, you know, so it sticks out in the mail. About this time of year, they're getting all kinds of weird crap in the mail, mm -hmm. so it needs to stick out. Put your logo right there on it and just make it make it stand out, right? Yeah. I, I mean, really, in, in I think the, the power of what this is, this campaign, is in the letter. Absolutely. How you write it, what you say. Um, you want to remind them of all the things that you've done for the facility over the year. Hey, we painted, we brought in muscle therapy, we brought in a smoothie bar, we brought in new supplements, we brought in new training programs. And you really highlight that stuff, like, wow, th this this gym is really making advances. Sure, and, and uh, for their benefit. For Exactly, so it solidifies their decision, because we remember that dirty little just gonna, secret, yep, that just dirty say. little secret of January is you're gonna lose a lot of clients, and people are reevaluating their fitness, uh, you know, and it's like, you better, combat that with holiday parties with gift giving with charity things at the gym that's exactly what i wanted to say if for anybody who listened to our dirty little secret episode one or two, i think it was the last episode yeah um th this goes hand in hand right this is your opportunity to shine this is your opportunity to make that letter stand out make it meaningful make it really resonate with your your clientele yeah. and uh it goes back to you know not only just the results that they're receiving, but the way that you're making them feel while they do it. Boom. And uh, this is a, a, a great time of year. Another something that uh, um, we could parlay into that and another opportunity to kind of take that same idea, but during the holiday season 
is not only your holiday party, but think of other businesses that you may be connected to that are having holiday parties. Everybody does giveaways. Everybody does raffles. Everybody yeah. does all this stuff. Make sure that you're partnering with those. Absolutely. You know, get some, get some, get a, get membership discounts, you know, maybe a discounted membership as a, a gift, you know, that they can leverage yep. with, with those JV partnerships, because that's what? a huge area. You can tap into other people's lists and leads and, Correct. and clientele. Correct. Absolutely. And we get hit up all the time for, for yeah. donations and yep. stuff. And the one question that we ask, and we want to make sure that this is the way that they're, they're doing it at their charity event is that you don't, you're just not giving these away to people. You want them to actually bid on them. Yep. Right. So a lot of times they'll gather a bunch of gifts for, you know, local businesses for a particular charity and they'll put them out on a table and you put like a hundred bucks, mm -hmm. 200 bucks. And then the winner, it's a silent, silent round, auction. Silent yeah. auction. You really want, when you're, when you're participating in these types of events, you really want the ones that they actually purchase and it goes to charity, which is fine. You don't want, you just don't want it to be, you won as a raffle. Yeah. You're, you you're won. leveraging the actual value of that because to the their person, benefit, Yeah, because the people that buy it, want it and mm -hmm. they put value to it versus they won a thing they didn't ever intend on winning. And sure. they, then they're, they're never going to use that one. Right. So go to the ones or ask that specific question. How are you giving these away? Great. You're doing a silent auction. Perfect. Count us in. We always went on those and put an expiration date on those uh, gift cards. That's, too. that's very smart too. And it, but it, it becomes a win-win because the facility gets a client who, like you said, is interested in that membership, not just, Oh cool. I got a gym membership, like a haircut that I'm never going to go yeah. utilize or something. Yeah. And, uh, I actually won those haircuts or a haircut before. And yeah. Yeah. They just, you just don't do it. No, I gift them, re gift them or whatever. But, uh, you'd rather have that client that's invested and then the opportunity for them to raise an additional fund, you know, additional funds towards charity. Correct. So your money is not just, it's not just a donation to the end user. It's a donation that is leveraged to make more yes. charitable contributions. And then the end user gets the win. It's, yeah, that's, I would, I would totally recommend you doing those. Anytime somebody comes to us and asks for that, we always get those clients coming in and we, sure. we sign them up, we yeah. sign them up, boom, boom, boom. So there you go. Little tactic, little strategy for you for this uh little holiday season we got the black friday stuff coming up automation workshop do we want to talk about this we can we're getting there getting close uh we just locked the deal in with keep over here at uh, the keep headquarters in chandler much much more to come out on this but uh, we're, we're going to basically sell 20 seats um, as iron circle members they get to actually come to these types of workshops as part of becoming one of the Iron Circle members. So they're gonna be there as well. We're gonna sit in a room, we're gonna build out your automation why as, don't, a, as a group. Why don't we put together, uh, check the link, I'll, I'll throw a link together. If you're interested in the workshop, I'll put a specific link in the show notes so that we can continue that conversation. Get you the information for Jan or February. It's gonna be in February. February, yeah. we'll get you the information, but if you're interested in that specific area, you know, it's it's easy to segment. So I'll throw a link for specifically for the workshop in in the show notes. Drop your information in there, and then we'll be in touch. Did you see that that steel trap nurture? I did. I need, okay. dude. I'm yeah. so like so what we do in 2020 with with that platform is going to be insane. Yeah, we're leveraging the heck out of keep guys. So we um <laughs> we uh we built well. I finished it up last night. We built a steel. Tra I'm calling it my steel trap because there's 17 touch points over seven days on four different mediums, right? So we've got uh, text message automation, email automation, uh, voicemail, voicemail broadcast, as well as uh, touch point or tasks, phone calls, right? Phone calls, mm -hmm. yeah actual phone calls were, were outbounding uh, leads that come in. So we're, we're collecting leads from every source and they got to go through the steel trap to book. <laughs> well, let's just say they book on the first email. Cool. They don't get the other 16. Yeah, exactly. It's automated. Yeah. So it's logic based. So if they get through that steel trap, they're not coming in anyway. No. So yeah. <laughs> you like how I, I named it the steel, the trap. steel trap. Yep. You, you got to come through my steel trap before you get out of here. So, or, or if they, obviously if they unsubscribe yeah. or whatever, they're not going to get those too. But we're going to build that in the automation workshop. You want a steel trap for your business to make sure that every lead gets captured and booked an appointment with you. Come to the automation workshop. Don't have a price tag on it. Probably going to be 4,000, maybe 39.97, 29.90, something, something in there. We're trying to figure it out. It's going to be two full gigantic days of just grind. And guys, again, go, going back to the value of what that is, the mm -hmm. amount, I guarantee you pay that, the amount of savings you personally or whoever's sending these these emails, text messages, uh, yep. voicemails, you know, making these calls, 
that individual is going to have that much more time on their hands. Well, it's like buying a salesperson. It, it's buying an automated salesperson. Plus, you're you're utilizing the time of those people that you do do have in your position by doing you know, other things, the tasks, sending things that they do need to do in front of them. Mm-hmm. There's no guesswork anymore. It's automated. You know, those those systems don't fail to do their job. Nope. Um, I, it blows my mind. And then what is it Two on average probably two or three clients for your fitness business will pay for that entire workshop if this system is going to provide three additional members to your gym over the next 12 months over 12 mm-hmm. months yep. it's worth the investment think about that yeah it, well that's the nice thing with training memberships you know you get you get these higher client lifetime values and the clients are worth more so you, you're willing to spend more to get them well let's talk about how cyclical it is We're going to build in long-term nurtures. We're going to build in long-term touch points. We're going to make people stay in your facility longer. Yeah. You're going to make more money with this system. It's an investment. It's not an expense. There's, I went through this every which way when I'm building these and there's absolutely no way somebody falls out of the funnel. No way. There's (laughs) any situation that happens. They don't fall out. They don't show up for their appointment. They don't fall out. They come in and, um, don't sign up for something they don't fall out mm-hmm. if they cancel their appointment but they haven't rebooked yet they don't fall out like i've, I've, I've every a, possible outcome i have a, a net for every situation that can happen you know you know want to know why i know where, where these uh, holes are because i own a business <laughs> and i run a gym and i know all the situations that happen so therefore i built the system to catch every lead that ever could come through in out in-house offline in, in person whatever it's all built in there in the steel trap is just part of it. <laughs> the steel trap with the safety <laughs> with the safety net. There you go. Uh, steel trap with uh yeah, it's, it's like a a bucket full of corks, right? It's just c- corking up all the holes in your funnel, boom. And that's exactly it cuz uh, we've talked about it in, in <clears throat> past episodes where once you generated that lead, what you do with that lead is where all the power lies. Yeah, follow it's up. not it, the follow up. Yeah, right. Like it you blast it off a phone, text, email and then you don't do anything with them. You're waste, you, you've wasted that lead, essentially. Yeah, and it happens, right? You, you've reached out for, to this person twice, and you move on to the... Because you're so flush with leads sometimes. Sometimes you're running a campaign, and you're getting like five, six, seven, ten, twelve 10, 12 leads a day, and you're like, oh, well, uh, you know, all the money you leave on the table by not following up with these people... How about the abandoned car sequence alone? 35%. I mean, that's a lot of money. If you look at your business and what you generated this year, if you added 35% to that... Would that make a difference? Would, would, it, would it move the needle? Yeah, you could buy that house. Shit, you could buy a new house with that. Yeah, depending on where you live. <laughs> in California, and, and, and you can buy a shack. And what you could sell in the gym, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's true. It's money on the table. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's really it. where we're focusing is dialing in the the effectiveness of the systems, not just more leads because we we talked about it. And we've we've kind of pounded. I was that gonna nail. say we've kind of driven that one home a little bit. We've yeah. pounded that nail that like, look, it's probably not more leads next year. We know it's not. It's it's you need leads, but let's let's get the past clients back. Let's not lose anybody. If you just increase your conversion rates by ten percent with the same amount of leads, that's that's a big it's I, huge. I mean, your business your is business, growing every massively business though. is different. But yeah, I mean that's what that's what our automation workshop's about. It's going to you know, it's gonna plug all these holes and you know the the workshop is going to be more of a a discounted versus the custom where people fly out here and just work with us one-on-one yeah and it's just like your gym right group semi-private training versus private training so the workshop i think is gonna be a little bit more affordable than our you know our higher like custom things that we're doing here in person but it's gonna be close to exactly the same it's just gonna be done in a group yeah it's a group setting a little less individualized attention but at the same time we're also bringing in a lot more uh, resources resources. yeah you know we're gonna have additional people on hand to help with the little things that people might get stuck on that you know you running the show might not be able to stop and help that one individual you know to to figure things out so tons of value is gonna be given away over these these two days is gonna be an entirely different business going back into yep, yep. um and if it's if it's like anything that we've done prior you know up through this point if you drive some traffic to this but while you're here you're probably going home to people's you know booked in Book, consultation booked appointments yeah and that's Which what is, we always do whenever we have a, a private client fly in so yep. we've got thomas coming in uh friday saturday and then i'm actually working with caitlin and yep. uh, in long beach as well as lou so I mean, mm-hmm. in the next week i'll have three more of these done and yeah, we usually turn on lead flow while we're still there working so we can wa- actually watch new leads, book appointments while we're sitting there. Yeah. 
and watching it live. Yeah. That's, that's always fun. It's almost like it's it's like taking the test live and just watching it work yeah. as you as you finish the stuff that you know has to come after the fact Down, downhill. Down the, yeah, exactly. So anywho, there you go. Let's let, let's create the link right now. So this is uh, pfmarketingsolutions.com slash automation. Beautiful. That's our new one. I like that. I can do that. I'll do that right now. pfmarketingsolutions.com slash automation. That's just to get more information about the automation workshop. Okay, that's the workshop in February, thinking 6th and 7th, not 100% sure. But by the time that this podcast comes out, you go yeah. to slash automation, you'll see details the details there so sure there you go all right well let's enjoy this weather and everybody that's listening keep changing lives we'll see you on the next episode bye